a movie. Let's head now this morning to the uh, editorial coordinator and film critic for HollywoodChicago.com. Patrick McDonald is back with us. Hey, Patrick, good morning. Hello. Hey, good morning. Scott, be safe, be healthy. Catch your motor running. Let's go to the movies. And the other one now, Thelma. Tell us about Thelma. Yes, Thelma is in theaters tomorrow, June 21st. What in the month of June uh, than for the great June Squibb? And what better in June than June being the lead character and title role in the film? For the very first time, June Squibb, with her distinct foghorn voice, is Thelma, a 93-year-old woman who has been without her beloved husband for two years, but still lives independently with help from her grandson, Daniel, Fred Heikinger. One night, Daniel calls Thelma in a panic, telling her he's been in a car accident. He's run over a pregnant woman, and he's in custody. To take care of the situation, Thelma then is told to send 10000 in cash to a certain address, and she does. Yes, she's been scammed. But the perpetrators have underestimated this grandma, who recruits her buddy Ben, Richard Roundtree, to help her get the money back. Now, we often hear on the news of these scams, but what first-time writer-director Josh Margolin does is create a thriller out of two very old people using a powered mobility scooter to complete a Mission Impossible and make it hilarious, fun, and deeply observant around being old in America. June Squibb is essential as Thelma and owns the screen, uh, the screen, and director Mark Owen tells her story by showing her grandson and her daughter, portrayed by the great Parker Posey, to be less competent people in this crisis. And yes, this is also the final film for the late, great Richard Shaft Roundtree, so this grandma's a bad mother. Shut your mouth. Thelma, four and a half out of five in theaters tomorrow, June 21st. Yet another great alternative summer film for the weekend.